The Nottingham Building Society and the Wolfpack Project have teamed up to help people find their future. We caught up at Nottingham's vibrant, alcohol-free Café Sobar to ask questions and get tips from Cameron on mental and physical well-being, Zoe on loneliness, Ali on finance and Liam on careers. Here's their take on how to help find your future. What sort of things can I do to safeguard my online mental health? Social media can be really sort of overwhelming at times and so it's important that you are making sure that you're balancing yourself between your social life uh, both online and offline. So taking breaks, making sure that you're sort of going outside, meeting friends in person when you're allowed to obviously. It's also important that you are sort of taking time limits on social media as well. So I know a lot of phone settings, you can actually place limits on it every day. So it's important that you're sort of limiting your time on social media and making sure that it doesn't take over your life. How do I avoid burnout? So obviously burnout is it's quite a common thing. It's important that you are taking time to exercise because it helps you physically and mentally. It's also important that you sort of eat a balanced diet as well. Diet is really important for your both physical and mental health as well and just making sure that you're taking time for yourself. How do I eat better on a budget? Yes, yeah, so I know for myself, I like to make a shopping list um, of all my items on there beforehand. It's important to make sure that you don't go when you're hungry as well, because you might find that you spend more money shopping than you need to. But also making sure that you're making some meals and like prep as well, so you can sort of do it on the Sunday night. If you've got something throughout the week, if you've got work throughout the week, plan some meals. You can make like a big batch of it and you can freeze it and then you can sort of have instant meals for the rest of the week. How do I exercise when I'm tired and busy? So when I'm tired and busy, obviously I like to make sure that I'm exercising in the morning. Personally, I prefer to do that because it sort of sets you up for the day and it improves your sort of mental health um, throughout the day as well. Also, it's probably a good idea to meet up with friends and exercise that way because they can sort of motivate you and make sure that you're keeping on track for your exercise. You can also do workouts from home. Obviously, they've become a lot more popular over the past year. So make sure that you're sort of being creative with your ideas. Don't sort of stick with the same thing all the time. Sort of try new things. You've got yoga, you've got all that, all that kind of stuff that you might not necessarily normally try. But it's important that you do that just to make sure that you're exercising well. How can I meditate? So for me personally, when I meditate, I like to just sit and take time and basically let any thoughts that come to me just pass. It's all about being in the moment, it's all about relaxing yourself and sort of making sure that you're not being distracted by any noises around you. And it's mainly just breathing exercises for me. I like to just make sure that I'm sort of at one with everything. I personally like to meditate in the evening because it sort of helps you wind down, it reduces your heart rate and make sure you have a good sleep. Obviously with the experts, I leave it to them, but it's important to literally just try anything and see what works for you. I think that's important. Um, everyone's different, obviously. So just make sure that once you find something that works for you, then you'll feel a lot better about it and you'll find it a lot easier. How do I connect with people offline? So connecting with people offline can be really easy, um, especially in the community. You've got loads of different clubs that you can join, whether that's sports clubs, um, hobbies, uh, different activities like that. Also just going out and doing local shopping. Um, you can have conversations with people either through food shopping or clothes shopping and things like that. What are some simple ways to make new friends? So some simple ways to make new friends is starting a conversation with a new person. This could be someone that you're sat next to on the bus, it could be someone that you've just bumped into, like even just giving them a compliment saying you like their dress, where's it from, things like that to make new friends um, as well as through the clubs again which you can then talk to about the different interests that you have. What can I do if I'm feeling overwhelmed? So if I'm feeling overwhelmed I tend to take myself out of the situation for a bit, do a couple of breathing exercises just to bring myself back to reality. I can sometimes write down my feelings as well which also helps putting it into paper or speaking to a friend, um, whether that's just a rant of messages to them um, and they don't even respond, it's still getting it down on paper and doing stuff that I would normally do on a normal routine, which would make my feelings become a bit more normal to how I'd normally feel. How can I avoid feeling lonely when I'm by myself? 
So if I'm starting to feel lonely when I'm by myself, I would normally give one of my friends a ring, whether that could be a friend that I haven't spoken to in ages, it could be an old relative or my mum. Just speaking to someone either through FaceTime or even going online, seeing who's active, popping up to someone that you haven't spoken to for a while or even finding something online to tag a friend in for them to then respond to spark the conversation. You could also take a date for yourself, you could take a bath, watch a film, you could plan something to do in the future, whether that be going on holiday, going to explore a museum that you really want to go and see, and just taking some time for yourself. Where can I go in Nottingham to meet people? So to meet new people in Nottingham, if you're part of the university, there's so many societies and sports clubs and different events that the universities put on, as well as different Facebook groups for members of the public to speak and become friends with similar interests. There's loads of different socialised events at different bars and pubs and restaurants as well. How do credit cards work? Credit cards are like short-term loans where you have a limit and you can't spend more than that limit. You will sometimes be charged interest, which means you will pay back more than you've actually borrowed. How do savings accounts work? Savings accounts work by you deposit in your money and then the bank or building society will pay you interest for having your money stored with them. So this will be a percentage. There are lots of different types of savings accounts depending on what you're saving for or where you're saving. So for example, you could save online or you could save in branch. The amount of interest you'll earn will depend on whether you have a fixed rate or a variable rate of interest. What are some savings tips for everyday life? Some tips for everyday money management could be to track what you spend, do a budget plan. So you could go to the Nottingham and get our downloadable budget sheet that's ready for you to fill in with all your spending and saving. What is cybercrime? Cybercrime is criminal activity that takes place online. There are loads of things you can do to help protect yourself from these sort of scams. So head to the Nottingham's Scams and Security Hub for more information. What is a credit score and how does it work? A credit score is a number that shows you and financial lenders how well you will be able to repay what you've borrowed from them. So for example, a phone contract or a mortgage. There are some ways to make your score better. So for example, make sure you're on the electoral roll. Also make sure you don't have any outstanding debts, such as an unpaid mobile phone bill. How does a mortgage work? A mortgage is a loan to help you buy a house or a flat. You'll be charged interest on top of the loan, so you'll pay back more than you have originally borrowed. This will be over a set time period called a term. How long should a CV be? A CV should typically be one to two pages long. How do I make my CV stand out? You can make your CV stand out by ensuring it's free of errors and tailored to the audience with a personal statement and a cover letter if needed. You can find more information on the Nottingham's Career Academy. Where can I take part-time classes? You can take part-time classes in your local colleges or online using platforms such as Google and LinkedIn. What should I include in a covering letter? In a covering letter you should include who the letter is addressed to and also any specific examples asked for in the job advert. You can find templates online to download for this. What questions should I ask in an interview? The questions you ask in an interview should allow you to understand whether you're right for the role. These could include questions about the culture or what a typical day would be like. To find out how you can find your future, visit thenottingham.com and thewolfpackproject.org.uk.